well, when I started my PhD, I probably didn't want to do, didn't know that I wanted to do biological physics. When you work in uh, an interdisciplinary area like biophysics, you have to know some biology, chemistry, and physics, and, and that was attractive to me in the end. The laser tweezers demo shows a couple of things. One, it shows that small particles do a, a little Brownian dance. They move around under the microscope. And the other is that if you take a tightly focused laser beam, the fact that light can push on things means that you can trap the particle and you can move them around. We can basically reach in without having to touch anything. And we can grab onto something that's very small, that's way too small to touch with our hands. For certain applications, it just can't be beat. The Brownian dance has been around for a long time. It was first found by Robert Brown. He was a microscopist and he was looking at pollen grains and he saw these particles moving around. So this is a pollen grain of the genus Clarkia. This is apparently the species that Brown saw in the late 1820s. Uh, Einstein in 1905, uh, in his marvelous year, he did things like relativity, uh, the photoelectric effect which got him the Nobel Prize, and also Brownian motion. He basically explained Brownian motion as a consequence of there being atoms. The first thing that I hope people will take away will be uh, the Brownian dance, the basic dance of little, par little particles, which ultimately goes all the way down to atoms. So the idea that everything is in motion uh, at the atomic scale, and even at the larger scale, that's something that you don't see every day.